Hello, everyone. <laughs> How are you doing today? Uh, Sun Lin Fai Long. Happy Lunar New Year, everyone, and happy Lantern Rite to all of you who are playing Genshin Impact. Today, we are here to finish off the Lantern Rite event story, and I'm just down here by Liyue Harbor to look at all of the beautiful lanterns in the sky, the kites, there were some firecrackers that were on earlier, although they seem to have disappeared, but I don't know why. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is the third part of the story. Last time, uh, our new friend Gaming took us to some dim sum breakfast. It looked super delicious. And then he was, but he opened up a little bit about, you know, just having some trouble with uh, family issues and family expectations. Uh, his father wanted him to, in to inherit the family business, but he wanted to go do his own thing. And uh, he ran away from home. So we get a sense that even though he's living a fulfilled life on his own terms with his own friends, and he has plenty of people to spend with Lantern Rite, well, spend with for Lantern Rite, uh, he's still, you know, without that reconciliation with his family, still feeling a little bit changed down, a little bit, you know, just wanting, seeking understanding, you know, seeking some closure to help him heal a little bit from the, the differences and arguments. And then we also went to a kite making workshop hosted by our friend cloud retainer Xianyun. And many friends were there, including Gaming, um, where eventually we ended up telling the others about Gaming's situation. So it sounds like today cloud retainer has a plan for how we are going to help Gaming uh, be able to reconcile with his father. At least that's the implication. We don't actually know the plan. We're gonna find out today. Uh, I also, we got Gaming in the event uh, because they had enough points. And we also got St. Shell's new Fontaine outfit, which looks amazing, of course. Love it. <laughs> the Farina design. <laughs> yeah, that's where we're at. It looks like we still have some time to wait. So I guess I will just circle around until that sounds like it should work. Actually, I don't know. I'd probably have to do it another another cycle. Maybe. <laughs> anyway, I hope you all had a wonderful uh, Lunar New Year, and we're going to continue that today in Genshin Impact. Uh, so where are we at? It's time to carry out the plan! The plan. Let's go find Gaming. Hope everything goes well. Okay, well, it looks like he's right there. So let's, let's see. <laughs> We're in the right spot. Hi, Gaming! Paimon sees you've certainly gotten an early start this morning. Playing games already, are we? <laughs> Who won this time? You the one buying dim sum again? Hey, when you put it like that, it makes it sound like I'm always the one losing. <laughs> Aww. Ah, perfect, you're all here. Uh, there's an important commission I need your help with. Oh, you need our help as all well? All right, I've got the time. Where are the goods? Well, it's not just goods this time. I need you to escort a tea merchant and their wares from Chaoyun Village to Liyue Harbor. A very oh. important client has requested to meet with I, him. I see where sure. this is going. Uh, what's this merchant's address? <laughs> We're here. I I see where I I see where this is going, and I see why Cloud Retainer planned it this way. I think. I would advise you to depart as soon as possible. That's fine by me. He's gonna be like, don't work too hard now, Longjo. I I don't know what he's gonna be like. I don't know how he's gonna react to this. Uh, let's see. The clade returns to the pavilion. Oh, we're teleporting. Okay, we're already in Chaoying Village, I guess. <laughs> we, we literally are. That's that's literally how it's going. Today, oh, do you want Paimon to tell a story? Uh, we're almost there. I'll take a rain check on that. Paimon. <laughs> Paimon, you're being... Suspiciously not nosy. Almost as if you are in on this plan. <laughs> uh. 
The uh, only one way to find out what's gonna go on. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Now, does the tea merchant know about this video? Hmm. Oh, so you're Gaming's father. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> Fine one. Just you, you're you're almost a little bit too obvious. Gaming is super good at what he does. Everyone hey. in the secure transport That's agency right. We're says about him. He's Even the best the guy ever. Affairs has nothing but good things to say about him. Seems like you've made some sort of name for yourself, at least. The... the goods are all in order? Yes, they're all here. Then let's get going. Uh, uh. A very important client has asked for you by name! You kinda have to come with us! Paimon doesn't know how we would explain ourselves if you just didn't show up. Plus, you'd be missing out on a huge money-making opportunity! I, mean, I I think we should let them, just let I them... I suppose I will have to trouble you all to <laughs> escort me, then. Just, just, just let Let's them go. be <laughs> for a little bit. But yes, looks like we do have a job to do. Work as armed escorts together with coming. Okay. okay. We are quite far away. Are we? Okay, down here. <laughs> okay, legitimate question. How, what is the path like? between like there's no path between Chaoying village or the rest of Chenyu Vale there's no path that connects them to Liyue Harbor like see this path this trail around here goes to Chingso village you'd expect there'd be some kind of pathway that connects to this path over here in Chenyu Vale but there isn't there's literally there's I mean, yes, we can teleport and we can climb mountains and whatever, but how do ordinary people get between the, I guess, boats? There's a dock here, but there's not very much, like, beaten path on either side, considering that it's a, would probably be a major waterway between Chaoying Village and basically the rest of Liyue. <laughs> Let's see! <gasps> Oh my gosh! Did you notice that Soraya started clapping? That's awesome! I know there's very, very specific, like, attacks or I guess maybe even idle animations that can make the NPCs clap. That definitely was one of them. <laughs> We've been walking for so long! Is anyone tired? Oh, there's a firecracker here! I'm fine. Usually have some delicious snacks on you. Come on, bring them out so we can share them. <laughs> um, fine, thank you. Uh, but the yeah, it's a long like journey. You sure you don't want to eat? So delicious. <laughs> have you ever tried it before, Mister? Uh, Paimon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can definitely. This is definite Paimon, you're actually doing a pretty good job. <laughs> you're you're getting them thinking. <laughs> this place looks nice and open. Why don't you all rest here for a second? Huh? Aww. What about you? You're not going to join us? I see I see certain someone in the I'm background. Not tired. I'll keep watch. I saw a oh, bird. A very specific bird. <laughs> okay, we'll just share amongst ourselves then. Did you know, Uncle Ip, that the flavor of these cakes changes depending on... Halt! Who goes there? It appears that one's movements <laughs> were overly conspicuous. <laughs> Enough of your musings. Focus. You guys. Focus on the matter you guys. <laughs> Present your exquisite ornaments at once. <laughs> Indeed. Bring them forth readily and without <laughs> protest. Uh, what do we do? 
And just when I thought I couldn't take those two seriously it enough, seems as if these two are alone. <laughs> this this event. <laughs> it may be difficult to subdue them, but they might have something else waiting in store for Dad. The best way to keep him safe is leave this to me. I'll handle them. Traveler Paimon, take my dad and the goods away from here. No, coming. It's too dangerous. This is what I do. Wink. Winky. A thorny foe indeed. <laughs> Let us depart and seek a target softer in blows and disposition. <laughs> uh uh. Don't think I'm gonna let you off so easily. Bird. Away. Let us away. <laughs> Coming. Don't uh, worry, he's a great fighter. Yeah, we've seen him in action. He will be fine. Paimon's even seen him take down a dozen or so treasure hoarders all by himself. Mm-hmm. He's been working very Coming, hard. I yeah. If he had just stayed by my side and learned the family trait, he wouldn't have to put himself in such dangerous situations. We just have to trust him. Let's go on ahead. We'd best get away from here in case there are other bandits in the area waiting in ambush. Bird. <laughs> All is going to plan. Indeed. Where is the goods? Oh well, I, I guess we'll, okay, we'll deal with that after. What is this? What, I, what am I looking at here? Oh no, what is he doing here? Uh, is this Sir, part of the one? Listen to me. Reel in your line and leave this place as quickly as you can. <laughs> there are bandits in the area. <laughs> uh, is this part of the plan? Even if it isn't. I'm sure Zhongli is all-knowing. Acting in broad daylight. And, uh... <laughs> oh. Help us, please! You gotta keep this up! Ah, I see. Yes, yes, you see, right? Many people are catching a chill as no. late. If your throat <laughs> is bothering you, Paimon, perhaps some uh, tea and rest are well. Dude, Stop please, you time. gotta, you gotta. He must have figured it all out by now. Is he just playing dumb on purpose? If I know that's what I'm thinking, right? It's in the area. Then we should inform the Millilith at once. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Is like Zhongli is all knowing, all seeing. There's no way, even if he's not in on the plan, he doesn't know what we're you know wink wink trying to want trying to get get here, right, right. I literally don't know what this guy, because he didn't, he didn't make a private fund of money before deciding to live as a human. I don't actually know what sort of expectations to set for him anymore. <laughs> oh, well, if that's the case, such matters are best left to those with the necessary expertise. Wouldn't you agree? <sighs> he's probably right. just here because he's ready Ordinary to share his like words of wisdom. Involved. We would only cause more trouble. Since we find ourselves otherwise unoccupied in this beautiful area, why don't we find a quiet place to relax while we wait for good news? Hmm. That would be lovely. It's okay. Because you know what? In situations like this, Zhongli always has words of wisdom to share when we need to hear it most. And he also rescued Xiao that one time too, so he's just always there at the right time. Therefore, this must be a good omen of some kind. <laughs> Gaming. The name sounds somewhat familiar. Ah, yes. That is the name of the Usho dancer who has been performing around Liyue Harbor recently, is it not? Yes. Oh, have you seen him perform? Indeed. <laughs> I cannot help but admire his skill. He truly encapsulates the spirit of the Suani. Usho dancing has become more well known in Liyue Harbor recently. However, although performers are seeing budding success, they have no doubt had to face many hurdles along the way. Ones not so easily understood by spectators such as ourselves. Mm -hmm. If you ask me, what truly deserves admiration is perseverance in the face of adversity. That is a rare attribute indeed. 
Yeah, I've that's heard many right. of my acquaintances praise Gumming for his kind, selfless, and courageous disposition. To have a child so accomplished and upright, you must be a very proud parent indeed, Uncle Yip. Aww. Uncle Yip. Seems like Jean Lee has decided to skip the formalities. <laughs> uh, well, he. He's a hard worker, yes. You should be sure to tell him you think that when he gets back. Mm-hmm. I... <sighs> Your son is young yet. It's normal for someone his age to be a bit... hot-headed. It's understandable to find talking about such things in person difficult. If there's a particular sentiment you wish to convey, perhaps we could pass it along for you. No, no. It wouldn't be right to ask that of you. <sighs> this thing between us has festered for many years now. In truth, there are some things that simply aren't easy for us to talk through. I've been in the tea business for most of my life, and I always hoped my child would do the same. Otherwise, how would he support himself? Over the past few years, I heard how well he was doing for himself as a guard. How his work was taking him to farther and farther off places. I also heard that he never gave up on wu-shou dancing. It made me happy. But I was also worried. When you're young, you can handle all that physically taxing work and manual labor. What young person isn't capable of making a living that way? My concern is what happens when you get old. Classic Every time I get to worry. thinking like that, <laughs> I cannot help but be reinforced in the belief that I was right. That I was right not to give in. I often regret introducing him to wushou dancing as a kid. If I had known how things would turn out, Lizard. I would have Sorry. never taken him to see those performances in the first place. It is only Aww. natural for a parent to strive to send their child down the right path. No one would begrudge you that sentiment, Uncle Ip. You need not worry. You seem quite young, Mr. Zhang Li. Mm -hmm. Yet you speak with such wisdom. Perhaps I have misjudged your age. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> your words are too kind. Truth be told, one of my old friends has several grown daughters. Rather than fretting about their future, however, she prefers to let them find their own way. Then she's more easygoing than I could ever be. I fear I lack such an open mind. Uh, oh, I meant to say earlier, there is no need to be so polite. Uh, feel free to call me by my name, Iptak. Sure. <laughs> so, do you also think I fret too much, Mr. Zhongli? <sighs> That's not exactly what I was hoping to convey. Only a fool would ask a parent not to worry about their child. But think of it this way. Raising a child is not unlike flying a kite. Hold the string too tight, and it can no longer soar. As my friend once said, if your children are aiming for the stars, clipping their wings will only cause them to come crashing down. You need to let out the line for a kite to soar. <sighs> It seems I was too stuck in my ways. You need not reproach your heart for caring. You simply need to loosen your hold a little. Indeed, with such a big heart, why not allocate the time you usually spend worrying about Gamin to the pursuit of other things? Like going for a stroll, drinking tea, or taking in the scenery. You never know what surprises could be in store. Things can change in the blink of an eye. <laughs> Wise words, Shongli. What's going on, you say? <laughs> do things change so quickly? Children grow up in quite the same way, do they not? Day after day, year after year, sometimes in the blink of an eye, but always when you least expect it. As a father, I'm sure you know that best. 
Yes, you can say that again. One second Gaming was a kid, the next thing I knew, he was ready to fly the nest. Shang Li certainly has a way with words. Agreed. <laughs> That's his thing. He can articulate all of these thoughts we have way better than all of us. He knows what to oh, say. Gaming is and he's back. the right person to say it when somebody needs to hear hey, it most. Gaming, we're over here. Hello. Dad, traveler, Paimon. Good, you're all here. Oh, and Mr. Zhong Li from the Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor? You're here too? He's everywhere he needs <laughs> to be. A <laughs> meeting indeed. We were just enjoying some pleasant conversation. Uh, <clears throat> is everything resolved? Well, you could say that. Yeah, what happened to what those two quote-unquote treasure Traveler, hoarders? Paimon, come with me. I need to talk to you. Hmm. Uh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, has he- have we even found out? <laughs> I'll come um, right out and say it. Those two bandits, you sent them, didn't you? Uh, um... So, that's how we're starting off? Can't look me in the eye, huh? I guess I'm right then. Okay, but how did you know? It looks like At first, their mannerisms like seemed a bit stilted. But once I got close, it was obvious that they possessed great skills. <laughs> I was right on their tail. Okay. I should have taken only a few steps to catch up to them, yet somehow, I was never able to close that distance. Gee, wonder with that why. Level of skill would have gone about things differently from the start. Like sneaking up on us while we were distracted. Unless, um. of course, their real motive was to lure me away from the group all along. You're pretty quick on the uptake. I guess we shouldn't try to fool someone who we know is super smart. <laughs> I've dealt with many a ruthless bandit in my time, but I've never seen ones like them. In the end, I told them they would make good guards if they ever wanted to get back on the straight and narrow, and that they could hang out with me and leave you a harbor anytime. Uh, you ever consider you might be a little too good at making friends? <laughs> I'm guessing you it's guys okay. are trying I'm to sure help resolve things to be between my dad and me. Uh, yeah. <sighs> I appreciate it. I, I really do. But this conflict between us has been going on for a long time. Well... Even if those two were real bandits, and I was able to subdue them and show them what I was capable of, it, it wouldn't change anything. Well, hold on. You, you still have not considered. It's uh, not like that at all! Your dad really cares about you. You should see the way he talks about you when you're not around. Zhang Li was talking things through with him, and he nearly agreed to let it go. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Even if you don't believe me. You don't believe us? <laughs> he won't let it go. He can say as much as he wants to other people, but he won't talk to me. I'm certain of it. And that's the thing, is it's like... You can tell his dad really cares about him. He's not... He's not trying to push Gaming to do... To take over the business necessarily just because he's super stubborn or super controlling or manipulative or anything. He's trying to do it because he's worried and anxious about his future. And sometimes it's really hard in those sorts of situations, like to be able to, I guess, reconcile those differences because neither, neither person really acted in, in malice. Nobody was trying to hurt each other. It just so happens that different interests came into conflict in a certain way that, and the clash, there's, there, there's enough clashing to really hurt a relationship, but there was never any intent to really hurt the other person. And exactly, like, I mean, I mean, do you, it's like, yeah, there's a lot of probably situations. I mean, I know it's like, it's like, you think the other person won't ever agree with you, but at the same time, you know yourself, you've also become that way too. Like, they have their ideals, but you also know you have yours. As much as you want to put the blame on the other side that they don't want to talk to you, you know full well. Maybe it's a little bit of your yourself too. But how do you really approach that because you're always afraid if you, if you're willing to let down your guard and talk about it, 
that might just be the opportunity for the other person to just grill you and really put you down because you were trying to be more vulnerable or open-minded about it. So this exactly this thing, he won't talk to me, I'm certain of it, is it's natural because it's just a guarded stance of we neither of us can let down our guard or afraid if we do, the other person's going to hurt us. But when both people want to and they just can't let the other person know that they want to, well, that's where friends like us really come in. Especially Zhongli. Zhongli is always there to... He, he's always there to really... I mean, I feel like right now I'm not doing a good job articulating my words fully. But he's taken the kite analogy and put it full circle. You know, Gao Ming feels like he's a kite that's bound down by the string and can't fly free. And... Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Zhang Li could put it way better than all of us. He's very good with words and very poetic and uses those metaphors very well. Way more well-spoken than me. Let's just leave it at that. Let's just go see what happens when they do try to talk. Because it sounds like with us talking with Gao Ming and Zhang Li, talking with uh, Uncle Yip, then therefore we're, you know, we're kind of allowing them both to let down their guard at the same time. And when they're willing to do that at the same time, then that's when real dialogue can happen. This game does, this, the stories in this game do a pretty good job, I feel, like really encapsulating different parts of relationships between people. I mean, not just this story, other, other event stories and like story quests we've had too. I, I really like them because they kind of delve into our interactions with people. And it's nice when you have and these stories that we can really, that even though they take place in fictional worlds with all sorts of weird and wonderful powers, there's certain cultural elements that are, stay true to us. And it's also just social elements that we as people can really relate to. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> I like talking sometimes, uh, which is my justification for rambling right now. Anyway, I will let them... I will let them talk because you know what? You both need to be willing to talk at the same time without fighting. And I think this is the chance we have. Oh. You told us you wanted to prove yourself to your dad. Why don't you tell him about all the hard work you've done these past few years? Will that even do anything? I'm not sure talking is enough. You won't know unless you try. Mm -hmm. Just like how you won't know if something is delicious unless you taste it. And maybe if talking doesn't us. work. It's time <laughs> to put these people's skills to good use. You can make friends with anyone, so why not your dad? Yeah. And you don't have to believe us that things are different now. But indeed, you can believe us that this is a shot at making things right. And if you are able to reconcile with your father, that's the probably the biggest thing weighing heavy on your heart right now and you can finally feel free if you're able to do that and uh, if you can't talk it through with him you can show him one of your dances in the city with everybody everybody around maybe this will be the time I guess not come back but the rise of show dancing this year <laughs> good luck we'll be rooting for you <laughs> That's what friends are for. I'll do my best. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you are very knowledgeable, Mr. Zhongli. I'm impressed. Thank Despite you so much for showing up when you did, Zhongli. I don't know how we were going to handle decades, this otherwise. Seems, <laughs> I still have much to learn about the art of tea tasting. You flatter me. It was nothing but a few humble musings. How much tea have you drank since we've been gone? Um, it's not like it was alcohol. True. I can- I love drinking tea. <laughs> sometimes tea is to be savored, and sometimes you're really thirsty and you just want to drink tea. <laughs> <laughs> Ip Doc and I have found many a common interest. Our friendship, much like a cup of tea, seems to grow stronger the longer it has to steep. Well said, Mr. Zhongli. Gaming, Mr. Zhongli is very knowledgeable. 
You should take the opportunity to learn from people like him when you're in the city. Agreed. Everybody... Oh, uh, of course. Everybody has something to learn from Zhongli. <laughs> I have very much enjoyed our conversation, Ifdak. But I, unfortunately, have some unfinished funeral parlor business to attend to. That's right, more funeral parlor oh, business to attend to. I, I hope I didn't keep you. Oh, not at all, I'm sure. My apologies <laughs> for taking up so much of your time, Mr. Zhongli. No need to stay on my account. When you're less busy, let's find a time to meet. I'll treat you to dim sum. It would be an honor. Thank you so much, Zhongli. Bye-bye. That's right. We're, we're gonna go... Go off for a little bit, too. It's it's just you two here now. <sighs> Should we sit? Uh, sure. I think we should leave them to it. <laughs> Let them be. There's, you know, a dialogue, at least now. Thanks for helping us talk things through with Uncle Ip. Good thing you were able to pick up on what we were putting down. <laughs> I have been around the both of you for some time now. You could say I have a certain level of expertise in that regard. As well, for my role in the conversation, <laughs> we do seem to get ourselves into lots of trouble. I hardly did situations. anything noteworthy. Oh, thank, well, thank you anyway. <laughs> no one else could have done it quite like you. Well, a we need to be... Approaches. Uh, oh. Hello. Hi! So, you're here too? I've been here the whole time. Oh, okay. <laughs> a ghostly kite. Could that elusive director Hu be coming to Wangshu Inn once again? What is she doing here? Uh, I suppose it matters not. Given her relationship with Rex, well, Zhongli... I might as well go pay my respects. <sighs> it's you. I thought you were Director Who. Ah, your arrival is most fortuitous. Do you want to try out this new gadget? The addition of the power source makes the takeoff more stable. Oh, he's it's trying the lens with the new power source. He seems quite immersed in the study of this device. I fear it's almost too stable. It completely negates the pleasure of seeing one's kite sway with the wind. It's a bit of a shame. In truth, I'm here because Director Hu dispatched me to purchase some items in preparation for Lantern Rite. I see. Much like she does every year. Much like she'll do next year, I would imagine. Mm-hmm. Hmm. What are you up to uh, this year, Shao? Last year you actually came to dinner with us. Am I wrong? Or has she once again sent you out to buy... What is it? Sesame oil or something? <laughs> While we're on the subject, I do wonder why she is so obsessed with using sesame oil in the preparation of mixed vegetable dishes for Lantern Rite. A recommendation from Shang Ling, perhaps. What do you think, Shao? I've only met Director Hu a few times. I'm hardly the best person to ask. Ah, and is that not a sign that you should visit Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor more often? It wouldn't hurt to grace the parlor with your presence now and again, when you are otherwise unoccupied. This one here is a traditional kite, one without any equipped mechanical device. Director Hu tasked me with studying the differences between the two to determine which one is of greater merit. Many hands make light work. Perhaps you could test out the other kite for me? All right. It's cool to see. I have made my comparisons. <laughs> if speed is so what we've been testing out kites this whole time. Kite is the <laughs> yeah, but. There's not that many people that Xiao is comfortable talking with so much with. I mean, obviously, I mean, it makes sense that Zhongli would be one of the people he's more comfortable chatting with. 
But you know, every lantern, right, we see him becoming a little bit more and more open. And I guess, well, this year, this is a group of friends that he is okay with being around because he knows we're not going to be so affected by his, like, karmic debt or whatever negative energy that's floating around him. But yeah, just, just seeing him become more and more comfortable around people and making friends over literally over the course of many years is actually so so heartening to see <laughs> wonderful i shall pass that information along to director who i'll leave these two kites with you perhaps you can find a few friends with which to partake in the activity you might find it to be an enjoyable use of your time yeah oh uh wait who enjoys kite flying Everybody well, this year. I would imagine someone <laughs> of your talent and wisdom is more than capable. It's the of theme. Out. Everybody's into it. It's the hottest new trend. Pirate didn't ask earlier because the situation was awkward. I would hardly say I roped Xiao into anything. I simply sought the help of Well, a roped literally Besides, in terms of we did the a, a kite together. string. <laughs> Like our pool of competitors is growing. The competition's not the important thing right now. <laughs> Do you like kite flying shows? I suppose I neither like nor dislike it. Although watching a kite gradually ascend into the sky does bring me a certain peace of mind. Perhaps they're a bit like shell lanterns in that way. Yeah. Mm. Kite flying is also a pleasant form of relaxation. Have you ever thought about making a kite shell? Cloud Retainer taught us how. We can teach you if you want. Mm-hmm. There's no need. No. Minogius was the only Yaksha among us who had an interest in matters of ornamentation and design. When Lantern Rite is over, come find me near Pervasi's temple if you have the time. Sure. I, mm. I would love to. <laughs> it's getting late. I should go inform Director Hu of our findings. How has she been, by the way? Be sure to say hi to her for us. The last time I spoke to her, she mentioned that she would be visiting Chaoying Village in a few days. Everybody's going to Chaoying Village these days. What's Perhaps going on? Also make the trip. It's almost as if, if it's you been to opened run up. Into her, you can pass along your regards in person. <laughs> we'll keep that in mind. Yay! Take care, See you later. See you later. See you next time. Thank you so much once again. Alright, uh, how's this going? Uh, is there still tea left in the teapot, or did you drink it all? Uh, uh, you can go first. I don't have anything to say. Then I'll go. I still don't want to leave Liyue Harbor. Oh. I can't say I support that decision, but... <sighs> Hey, let me finish before you get all worked up. Sit, Shinha, sit. You must be tired from your journey. Shall I pour you a cup of tea? Or would you prefer something else to drink? Are they right next no to each other? I'm not tired. They're gone, Master. Okay. Okay, this is part of the plan, right? The time is nigh for us to I mean, obviously, because Cloud Retainer came up with the plan. Do you remember the plan one recounted to you? Yes, Master. We aim to give them a demonstration of familial love. Great, I'm sure so that's gonna I'll go have whatever well. you are having. <laughs> All right. What are Auntie Xianyun and Shanghe doing here? Just how many people are involved in this scheme? I suppose all I can do is just take a seat and see what happens. Perfect. I just so happened to have bought some Songlo tea recently. It's quite the delectable variety. Talking as oh, loudly as possible. One has not been <laughs> to drink it every day in the hopes of whittling down one's considerable. What? <laughs> one has more than one's fill already. I have to pause because that's literally a situation I have. I have this giant container of English breakfast tea. And I literally cannot finish it. It's so big. And I will never, I don't know if I, how long it's going to take for me to get through it. And it was, and of course I like it. But when you had the same tea for every day for a long time. Well, I have to take breaks because it's the same tea. 
And it, it, it just, yeah. I want to be able to try different kinds of teas. Like the teas that they have in this game. I want to go back to some of those. <laughs> I mean, obviously, I still like the English breakfast tea. However, when you've had too much of it, then I, I feel this. <laughs> but I mean, that's why I take breaks. Then I can go back to enjoying it again until I have to stop. But every time I stop, it just takes longer to finish. Anyway, <laughs> uh, not, not relevant. Such thoughts detract from the present need to keep up the conversation. Has work been busy during the holiday season? Do you need my help with anything? Uh, drunk guests can sometimes cause trouble, but I deal with them as you taught me, by pinning their heads against the table. This is uh -huh. gr great. This demonstration of um, how families go. <laughs> While one was busy orchestrating this act, one seems to have forgotten about Shunha's various. I, I would have thought Ganyu might have, might be a better choice for what, this. What, uh, what <laughs> uh, I meant in terms of was, this this act we have, have here. Have you made any <laughs> friends? We live so far from each other. It would be a great comfort to me to know you were surrounded by good companions. Huh. You already know of my past circumstances. Recently, I've been conversing with Guoba in the kitchen at night. Guoba can't talk, but his companionship is a comfort. <sighs> the poor child. Her one friend <laughs> can't even talk. Well, I guess maybe Ganning is not <laughs> so bad after all. Perhaps I've been too hard on him. <clears throat> Let's move on, shall we? Do you have any plans for today, Shenhe? How about we do something fun? That sounds about right. Take her to do something fun, and perhaps she'll loosen up a bit. Like we used to do when we would carry stones up and down the mountain from dawn <laughs> until dusk, picking herbs to eat for dinner along the way? If that is what you ask of me, then that uh -oh, is what no, I shall no, no, do. No, no. Literally shaking her head now. <laughs> Dad, uh, here, have some tea. Or, or no, wait, let's not have any just yet. <coughs> uh, yeah. Oh, I <laughs> simply can't listen to that any longer. <laughs> Coming. I'd like to finish what I was trying to say before. I don't support you, your decision yeah, I know. Did you guys just both collectively Harper decide to stop talking and eavesdrop instead? <laughs> if you come home, there will be people to help you. I'm not saying we have to live under the same roof. I know our personalities are too similar to avoid butting heads. But you'll have your entire family around you. Your aunts, uncles, they'll all do whatever they can to help. You could get a less taxing job, and we could... We could grab dim sum together from time to time. Huh. I didn't know dim sum was such an important affair, Master. Shh. Just don't you, okay. you? You should try some since you're in you the uh, harbor anyway. Now. Dad really has changed a lot. He would never have said these things to me before. But I. Thank you, Dad. Aww. <sighs> it's been long enough, don't you think? Oh, I'm unsure hopes they I mean you're still a bit early, but I guess we, we have made progress. Oh, they're drinking tea in silence. That's not a good sign. Did Xianyan's plan not work after all? Well, they're not gonna be super chatty. Um, but... Uh, hey, you two! Paimon's sorry we were gone for so long. We got to chatting with some friends and didn't realize <laughs> how much time had passed. Perfect Literally, timing, yes. Actually. We seem to be just about done here. Yep, uh, let's go. I'll get the vax. Hey, look, it's- I thought- I thought, you know what, change? Coming <laughs> has grown a lot taller, hasn't he? <laughs> Aww. Change comes in small steps. I think that this was progress that was made here today. Small steps. Uh, a, a journey of a- of a thought. was it the journey of a thousand miles? Begins with first the first step. 
How does the saying go? Something like that. A, a journey of... Well, basically, a long journey. A journey of a thousand miles begins with one first step. That's what we just saw there. Assuming I got the saying right. <laughs> Aww. What, what was that, you guys? Did I say something wrong earlier? I tried to go along with your questions, but when I saw how you and that man reacted, I started to wonder. Well, Shenha, you're also Not making progress. All. Certain <laughs> unforeseen variables may have presented themselves along the way, but the outcome proved favorable. The plan was a success. Yeah. Then I helped? You absolutely have. Naturally. Helped. Your purity of spirit is one of your greatest strengths, Shenha. Yeah. You need not you change who you are. <laughs> you were honest. You said the answers that came to mind, and it worked out. I mean, the end result is what we wanted. And also, it's also demonstrating Shenha's growth as well. When we first met her, you know, she's emotionless, a little bit cold, because of the way the, the ropes had suppressed her emotions and her instincts from the the dark the dark energy right so she's been spending this whole time trying to basically relearn emotion and relearn human nature so i think after the past couple of years we have seen lots of progress from shenha and i am super proud of her for that as well <laughs> that was that was quite the little side adventure we had there at wangshu inn and the surrounding area um I guess not side, I, I guess it was very relevant. Oh, hello there, Charlotte. Um, yeah. <laughs> we're, we're on the right track. We, we've, we've done it. Now, Charlotte, we're, we're a little you busy right Mr. now. Ip. Thank you for coming all Unless this way. you're also in on the plan? My name is Charlotte, and I'm a reporter from Fontaine. You can find me writing for the Steambird. Oh, I invited you here not oh, just to purchase your fine you're the tea, client. but also with the hope that you might be willing to sit down for a short interview. What do you say? An interview? To advertise my teas? Uh, well, yes. I suppose you could think of it that way. We Fontanians are big tea drinkers, too. That is true. Fontaine Market. Then I'll need some time to adequately prepare. Perhaps we could sit down and discuss the questions you intend to ask in advance. Of course, of course. Yes. Please follow me. Is this person also involved in your plan? Um. I don't know how we would have gotten her involved because I feel like this would be a very, very complicated situation to explain. I suppose all we probably told her was that we had a tea merchant in mind that she could interview. So yes, I suppose she was part of the plan. Um, what, what do you think? And here, I thought I had lots of connections. Yeah, we, I suppose we know like, everybody in sure every country. Cool and people. and the list here. is only growing. Yoo-hoo! Over here! Uh-huh. What? Auntie Shen Yun? She what are, what are you doing? <laughs> Your dad is still distracted. Yeah, since you clearly are, you already know what's happening. Uh, you should definitely come with us. I take it that all is going well. Don't worry, Shenyun. Everything is going according to plan. Except for the fact that Gaming knows the plan. Yes, everything's going according to plan. I knew that was all an act earlier. Auntie Shenyun is really something. She was so determined to help me. She didn't even care about making herself and Shanha appear foolish in front of my family. She truly knows how to look out for others. Yeah. I still have a lot to learn. As for the <laughs> next step. Oh no. Oh no, what? What's wrong, Gummy? Don't tell me you're the ones footing the bill for all that tea. I can't let you do that. Oh, it's Try fine. To not. Reimbursements will be made. We have lots of, we have millions of dollars. <laughs> would say. We pulled together the Mora so that Charlotte could place the order. She's gonna bring it back to the Steambird as a gift, as well as a sample of the regional specialty. Fontanians will probably fall in love with your dad's tea as soon as they lay their eyes on Charlotte's article. 
And once all the money from the new orders begin to roll in, getting our Mora back will be a piece of cake. Well, oh, that's a beautiful okay. theoretical the business. business. Matters always um, to go over my head, thank goodness I it's probably going to actually happen that way, too. I'll pay you back right now. <laughs> we can talk about such matters at a later date. There are more yeah, dude, you, you can buy us dim sum oh, again. I don't want to hear yes. another another word of this. We I've have stolen the bill, and here. we're not letting you steal it back. I have an idea. Okay. But I'd hate to cause even more trouble for all of you. No, don't worry hmm. about it. That is for us to decide. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're all friends here. Plus, we wouldn't be here if we didn't want to help, right? Just tell us about this idea of yours. Okay. Whew. So, it's like this. It's so different to hear him, you know, sound down like this. Got it. But that's only fun. natural, right? Let's split up and make it happen. <laughs> He's upbeat and happy most of the time, but, you know, kind of dealing with his issues. You can hear it. It's, we need to it's do tough for him. <laughs> but we also still have the kite flying competition. Since well, thankfully we have a kite. Those kites for us, why don't we also go buy one of those mechanical thingamabobs or whatever they're called? We can attach it to our kite. Now, you should want to wait for Cloud Retainer to make us a, a better one. But she's probably busy right now. Looks like we have a plan. A plan in action. Uh, so she's probably too busy to make us a better one at the moment. Look at all of these beautiful kites. All right, back to you where it all started. <laughs> It's been a few days. Welcome back. I see you returned from your trip. I really do have to thank you for all your help from before. <laughs> it was nothing. Thanks to you, my daughter was able to build a kite with her grandmother that very same day. Oh, she that's, even wrote a long that's great. Letter telling me how much she loved it. <laughs> oh, you should really be thanking God Ming, not us. I see Charlotte over there. I'll be sure to. I should go. I should go talk to them to see what are questions are going Please, on. <laughs> take your pick. Oh, we already have a kite. We wanted to buy one of those um device thingies from Fontaine. Do you sell them separately? Let me guess. The answer is no. They're already uh, attached. Yes. Here you go. Please take it. What? Free of charge. The no. directions are in the box. It's not hard to install at all. First of all, I would love to compensate you for that. Second of all. These, you know, in this present day, they would absolutely be sold, glued to each other. And if you wanted to buy one or the other, you would have to, you would have to buy the whole thing and separate them because that's a marketing move. So that's very generous of you to sell it separately. Thank you. Um, it doesn't for feel free. right for us to just We should, take yeah, I don't feel right taking well, it for free. nor would it feel right for me to take your Mora. <laughs> Good Aww. luck in the kite flying competition. I'll be rooting for you. Thank you. Then we'll try to win. Thank you. For you and everyone else who supported us on our journey. <laughs> our Paimon kite. <sighs> it's done. Let's get down to business. Let's do it. Stars in the sky, the lanterns. Wait for lantern right to begin. Yay! It's time for the celebrations of lantern right. Oh, 
He's standing in the water. Wow. Oh, hello, Shuya. His dad is watching too. <laughs> All according to plan. <laughs> wow. Already? Uh, I need to load more film. Wow, <laughs> uh, look at all the kites in the sky. She was going to win the whole time, let's be honest. <laughs> Together. <laughs> Mommy's performance was so cool, Paimon almost wanted to join in. You saw that, right, Traveler? I saw all of it. <laughs> course, Cloud Retainer had the best kite of them all. A kite so good, it lifted up everybody else's kites, too. <laughs> That's great. We all get to try out our kites. Including our Paimon kite. Now, if that's okay? Thank you, little girl. Do you want us to walk you back? No need. No need. Master is waiting for me right over there. All right. See you later. <sighs> Son. <laughs> well, I suppose I'll go first this time. Okay. Your performance. I've seen many wushu dances in my time, but I've got to admit, what you pulled off there was breathtaking. Wow. I... I never thought I'd live to hear you say that. You're serious about doing this professionally? A absolutely. I, I know it'll be difficult, but... Then it doesn't matter. What I mean to say is, of course it'll be difficult. But if that's your decision, if that's your dream, then it doesn't matter how difficult it is. As long as you put in the work, then any obstacle can be overcome in time. Really, when I was young, I also... <laughs> Actually, how about we save that story of my past for another time? All I really <laughs> want to say is, 
I've changed my mind. And much like this kite. You also deserve to soar to new heights. Dad. Son. Son? <laughs> Haven't heard that in a while. I bet you're wondering what's gotten into me saying all this. Well, um... <laughs> a little bit, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I know I've never found the chance to say this before, but... <clears throat> to me, Gaming, you've always been a great kid. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that probably means a lot to him to hear. <laughs> All right, that's everything I've got. Did you have something you wanted to say, or...? Definitely, this is a case where just a little help from friends, you know, to nudge them in both in the right direction, definitely helped out. But ultimately, it was also, it was also both Gaming and his dad who had to take that step. So, yeah, it's just, as friends, really amazing to see. <laughs> All because of you. Give yourself a pat on the back, Paimon. I mean, true, you... You talking through this this whole time really actually helped bridge everything together. Now go. Over there, your friends are still waiting for you. <laughs> and we always will be. Huh? But you came all this way. I'll be staying in Liyue Harbor for a bit longer. When you have time, we can grab dim sum together. Your treat, That sounds right? wonderful. Dad, <laughs> honestly... <laughs> Go. <laughs> okay, then I'm off. See you soon. See you soon. Time to fly this kite, this beautiful kite into the air. It's a real smile because a burden has finally been lifted. Is there anything else you'd like to do? Hmm. I'd like to find and thank Auntie Shenyun, as well as everyone else who's helped me out. If everyone has time, maybe we could all get together and go fly a kite. Yeah, oh, yes, let's definitely do that. <laughs> He's not here anymore. Wow, okay. That was great. I like this story a lot. <laughs> I mean, definitely Lantern Rite, Lunar New Year. It's a time to spend with those and your, your loved ones. And being able to spend that time with loved ones after a lot of years apart and a lot of time uh, in conflict. Now with better understanding and trust for each other is definitely just a wonderful thing to see. Hello there, Charlotte. I believe there's locations where everybody is at, so I'm gonna try to look them up, but let's see, what does Charlotte have to say? Oh, Lantern Rite was simply amazing. <laughs> I'm not sure I'll be able to sleep tonight. Uh, about the mechanical vertical lifting device. Oh, that? Yeah, interesting story. It was invented by a guy from Fontaine. Look it up. His name is Eildison. Okay. He's always tinkering away at some mechanism or another. He's even asked the Steambird to write about his inventions on more than one occasion. I believe I have a direct quote from him about this particular one. It, ah, yes, here it is. The device is powered entirely by mechanical components without the need for any additional energy source. Basically, Wait. it's a manually operated cranking device. Oh, now, okay. How you can fly like... entirely depends on how much <laughs> force you can exert. Combining this invention with a kite. What a great idea, right? That makes sense. I was like, no energy source. Did you just stick a piece of metal to my kite? Did you actually just make it fly worse? 
but no, if it actually has some sort of mechanical feature or just some design feature that enhances the kite without mechanical energy, that's great too. Oh. <laughs> my conversation with Mr. Ip went really well. I've already sent the first draft of my article back to the Steambird. It's a piece that contains all the pertinent information while also telling a story. I'm quite proud of it. Oh, that reminds me. I should thank everyone who made this possible for me. Especially that spirited lady with those peculiar turns of phrase. Miss Shenyun was her name, right? Yeah. It was all thanks to your connections and creativity. I would have never thought I'd be able to bring such a special gift back to Fontaine with me. About Lantern, right? This was my first time experiencing a foreign holiday in person. It was well, besides the, so I guess exciting. the card, I guess the card game the tournament was not a holiday. <laughs> All right, spirit, fair enough. How did you like it? Cultural <laughs> traditions steeped in symbolism. Oh, I almost forgot. Kuching even gave me a kite with a poem on it that she wrote herself. It goes, dreams are like paper kites. With them do our hopes take flight. Sailing high above the clouds, they yearn for something more profound. Yet try we may and try we might. A deeper truth waits in plain sight. Though we hang our hopes in skies abound, many joys lie on the ground. Oh, that's lovely. Sounds like you have made a wonderful new right. friend here in I'm Leo sure a lot Harbor. Of people will love it. Uh, until next time, yep. Charlotte. And happy lantern <laughs> right to you. Okay. Let me see. All right. So we've met Charlotte. Next, we are going to go and meet with Ganyu and Shenha. Uh, should be at one min restaurant because of course that is where Shenha works now. There they are. Hello. I don't get it. Is don't get what? Wrong, <laughs> Tell me. Perhaps I can help. The color black doesn't get dirty easily. So I thought this outfit would be acceptable to wear to work. Well <laughs> But Xiang Ling told me it was inappropriate. There's there's more it's qualification for clothing than it just How? doesn't get dirty easily. She Probably just meant the outfit isn't suitable for that particular environment and occasion. Yeah. But for a festival gathering with friends, a nighttime stroll, or an important banquet, there's your outfit is more than appropriate. <laughs> there's a lot of different so intricacies to how we I dress for different occasions. Important people. <sighs> I suppose that's another way to think of it. I mean that that works. <laughs> um. Yeah, you probably shouldn't wear that to work, but. Definitely wearing it out with friends to go enjoy a festival or a evening uh, party or dinner. Definitely the perfect outfit for that. All right, next we're going to go and talk with Gaming and Yao Yao and Chi Chi, uh, who are up here in the uh, the tall the tall building somewhere. <laughs> I don't know exactly where, um, but every time I reminisce to the first time I ever came to Leo Harbor and I was commenting on how different the architecture is to that of Mondstadt. Everything here is very tall and vertical. Uh, but where will I find them? <laughs> I kind of expected it to be up here where the storytelling guy is, but I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, here where people like to watch the lantern, right? It's here? Yeah? Oh! Our kite is so high up. Oh no, it's not gaming. It's just the person who now. took the screenshot had gaming in the photo. <laughs> a lot of fun. I'm glad! If you want, we can go fly kites some other time, too. The fun doesn't have to end today. Yeah. Really? How about we do it during the day next time? That way, we can see the design better. When it flies super high up, it will look exactly like a real finch. Okay. Uh, can I take this kite to bed with me? <laughs> <laughs> But of course! Yeah, put it next to you, and you will always have a little birdie watching over you at all times. Uh, okay, next. Next, where are we going to? Where is that? I don't even know. Oh, yeah, I do. Uh, I think this is Kuching and Shenyun. Um, 
this this coaching oh i i see i, I okay never mind i do know exactly what this is because this is uh this is her new house and you have very lovely flowers here indeed <laughs> One may have won the kite flying competition. So she did win. I knew it. She was planning to win the whole time. <laughs> you need not be so humble, honored adeptus. Among yeah, okay, kites, clutching those, yours of course. <laughs> was literally a cut above the rest. Please accept this prize. You deserve it. Besides, I'm quite certain we owe a fair share of the success of this year's lantern right to you. Yeah. If you insist, then one can hardly continue to refuse. However, there is another matter with which one would ask your assistance. Of course. Hmm. One would be much obliged if you could distribute this case of Sunglow Tea among the Millilith on duty. The security of the festivities rests entirely on the shoulders, tea. after all. <laughs> one presumes they could always benefit from something to invigorate their spirits. Cloud Retainer is so thoughtful and attentive to others' needs. I would expect nothing less of an esteemed adeptus such as herself. She Understood. really is. <laughs> I'll get on that right away. She takes care of everybody. Oh, a fortuitous result indeed. One oh. To resolve itself. <laughs> I understand. I understand. We're, we're talking about the excess of tea. Yeah. I mean, with Gaming's performance out in the harbor... Definitely, more people are going to be aware of or even interested in wushou dancing now. Everybody got to see his performance. Uh, let's see. Uh, we have... Oh, uh, Moon Carver and Mountain Shaper here. That's good. I'm glad that they got so much involvement in this. I'm glad all of our original Adepti friends got... So much involvement in this story. <laughs> and just nice to see them all lighten up a bit compared to Even when I first met present them. Countenance, one presumes you are missing some old friends again. You guys have been hanging out literally the whole time. Of them. Pray speak. Unburden yourself of yeah. these sentiments. One on simply mind? wishes Monogius were alive to witness such peace alongside us. Yeah. He was He's so here skilled in, in matters of craftsmanship. I mean, I Kite assume the big lantern in the middle is a test of his statue of him. Were he yet amongst the living, he could have opened a kite stall. One is certain it would have been an establishment rich not only in profit, but also esteem. Yeah. And if, as in the past, he were unable to involve himself in matters of the mortal realm, we could sell the kites in his stead. When we finished, we could bring him back wine and partake in drink and good company. Mooncarver, those are now but fond moments in our memories. Aww. Indeed. The dead are gone, so as the representatives of the living, let us take in the sights for a bit longer, if just for his sake. Yeah. I'm sure you... I'm sure he would love that. And he is here in spirit. I mean, I suppose not just with... all oh, the lanterns in the sky just instantly disappeared. And it turned off. I mean, not just here as this beautiful lantern we have here, which I assume is supposed to be Minogius, but also, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure he would be happy that you are enjoying the sights in his place. Uh, I wonder, is, is Gaming going to be here? Yes, I think so. He was in this area! But he wasn't up in he wasn't up in the, the buildings with with Yao Yao and Oh here we go. So Oh outside Tsunua Kiosk, of course. Of winter melon cake then? Huh? Oh <laughs> I guess you heard everything Paimon was saying, huh? <laughs> of course. She was talking about you. As your father, how could I not listen? <laughs> Remember back when you were a kid? And you would sit on my shoulders to watch the Wushou dance. Oh. On our way back home, you would beg me to buy you some winter melon cake. We would only buy two at a time. But before long, we tried the winter melon cake from every vendor that street had to offer. There was also that one time you used your pocket money to treat me. <laughs> Do you still remember? There might be yeah, more times like that now. I remember. 
That was the best winter melon cake I ever had. Let's go back sometime. The shop's still there, and I remember the way. My treat, just like before. Are you sure? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. I want to try some of this winter melon cake now. Yeah, just, just great to see. Just great to see them doing well. Of course, we have one more friend we promised to visit. Um, I believe the Temple of Pervases is here. Oh, here. Yeah, that's right. Hello there, Shell. Traveler. Hi. It's just as I thought. You stopped short of stepping into the city again. Being in the city isn't the only way for me to appreciate the lights and beauty of Lantern Rite. Look. Liyue Harbor lies just beyond this mountain. As long as I stand at this vantage point, I may freely behold the sights of all the kites slowly ascending into the sky. That for you me, did. That is enough. All right. Well, yeah, we, we don't need you to be a super social butterfly. So just these little steps are enough for us to know that you're doing all right. <laughs> I invited you here because there is something I would like to do. Okay. I want to release a shell lantern and I'd like you to be there for it. Did you make it yourself? Yes. Wonderful. I apologize <laughs> for its crude appearance. I have little skill in that regard. No, 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 it's it's amazing. And most importantly, it was made with love and care. You are <laughs> very kind, as usual. No, we're just being honest. All right. <laughs> it's time. Bye-bye. Wow. <sighs> As the shell lantern slowly disappears into the tranquil night sky, shell's expression Traveler. softens. Hi. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. New friends, old friends. <sighs> Time goes on. Some people go, but other people arrive. And hopefully. That's what Lantern Rite can be for you. Time spent with new friends while also reminiscing and enjoying life and spirit for those who are no longer here to do it for themselves. So happy Lantern Rite, Shao. And hope we see you again next year. I mean, we're definitely gonna make this a thing. We see him every year. <laughs> All right, uh, they got a lot done there. Uh, now it is time for us to finish the last part of the event. Um, iridescent cloud striding. As you pass by and lane in Yinlung Wharf, a sincere storyteller's disciple approaches you and narrates a tale intimately related to you both. Okay, let's see. Uh, what do you have to tell us? And I wonder if there's any kite celebration here. I guess not. We didn't see very many kites. They probably did release lanterns, though. Well, there's no lanterns in the sky here like there was in Leo Harbor. I'm so sorry I'm walking into a good because I'm not paying attention. <laughs> uh, esteemed guests, I, the apprentice storyteller Zhuan Shu, must humbly re requ request you cease your steps for a moment. Perhaps you have heard a tale that goes something like this in the beautiful night of lantern right. Flaming lights once danced across the sky like glowing brushes, like a majestic scroll. Uh, Paimon didn't quite catch that. Flaming lights? Painting in the sky? That's not something ordinary people can do. Even if we had some kind of airship, there's no way, there's no kind of mysterious paint that can just hang in the air like that. Sounds like a seriously exaggerated analogy. Um, could you be talking about fireworks? Anyway, the protagonists of this tale are none other than you two, the renowned Teddy whose fame is spread throughout the land, and his companion Paimon. Huh? Why is it suddenly about us? Oh, Paimon, we should probably be flattered that our name is so renowned. <laughs> 
Perhaps you've already forgotten, but this time last year, you accepted a commission from the adventurer Tian Tian and participated in a special speedrun challenge. I do remember that. I remember my wanderer soaring right into the middle of Leila Harbor with all these fireworks and celebrations around. <laughs> uh, and I made it the thumbnail of the video. <laughs> That speedrun challenge was illuminated by the glow of fireworks, a sight most majestic, a splendor seen not oft seen. Now that you mention it, Paimon kind of remembers that we helped some promoter from the Adventurers Guild. Oh, it was nothing, really. She said she wanted us to use the event to recruit new members. No idea if it actually worked, though. Uh, uh, so what's your point? <laughs> At the time, I was drowning my sorrows in liquor near the Wangshu Inn, and as I looked up, I saw your silhouettes framed by the fireworks. In a moment, the sadness from flunking the exam, my confusion about the path that lay before me, it was all dispelled in a flash by your radiant figures blazing bright with vitality. So I pulled myself together and continued my research into folk tales, and thus came to Chen Yu Vale, drinking deep of my favorite subject. I must thank you for the encouragement you gave me. And it is not just me. Many were moved by your splendid slots, joining the Adventurers Guild and finding new direction in life. Paimon never imagined anything like that. We didn't even notice anyone watching at the time and didn't think that us joining in a little race could inspire other people. Well, I'm really glad that we did. I'm really glad that that inspired people to take up new passions in life. When you put it like that, it's kind of embarrassing. No, it's actually really cool. It's good to see that your spirits have improved. Congratulations on getting it together. To run into you today is truly my good fortune. There is one thing I would like to ask in addition to expressing my sincerest gratitude. Please, pass your radiant glow onward and continue to inspire even more people. Though you're nearly as great as you say, you've got a good idea going. If we can cheer up more people, we're in. Though now that you mention it, just what should we do? In accordance with the usual practices, I used Tian Tian's racing challenge as a reference and teamed up with the other adventurers inspired by you. We've planned a brand new activity, Iridescent Cloud Striding. There are many wondrous things here in Chen Yu Vale, including a strange carp whose powers allow you to travel most swiftly. Well, great, because we are very familiar with her already. All you need to do is vault over valleys and mount your... Mount, mount the mountaintops with your nimbleness, showing your vibrant dynamic... Dyna, dynamic, dynamism? Dynamism to all and sundry, just as before. Uh, easy peasy. Of course, beyond the more I've prepared as a token of appreciation, we've prepared a variety of other rewards to express our gratitude. Such paltry gestures pale with the hope you have gifted to so many and the excitement your past deeds inspire. But that is not all. In the future, we will find more chances to repay you. <laughs> You're too kind. I'll keep on journeying and helping out those in need along the way, even without any rewards. But after hearing you say this, we're even more inspired to keep on adventuring. Let's give this iridescent cloud striding a try. I liked that event last time. Let's do it. Uh, score up to 3,000 points. We got it. I've not even been there before. Well, this is a perfect time to do so. Let's go. That is a lot of mountain to climb. Hang on, is there... How, how is the best way to go about this? Maybe I, I need to get Wanderer. I should, but I'm also stubborn and I'm not gonna change my team. Instead, hit, hit what? Slime condensate. I'm so glad we smacked a pot and that flew out of us. I wonder what that was like. This just slime just, just out of nowhere. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm just- I just haven't gone to the entire middle section of the map. We didn't really need to for Fujin's quest, so I, I just haven't had a chance to yet. In fact, let's get the teleport. I know I see the challenge over there, but we also should grab the teleport that's just over the hill. While we are at it, and this area is just so beautiful, I've been listening to the soundtrack, I've just been hanging out here. Just good vibes. There is- I have not seen these thorns in such a long time. Okay, let me out. <laughs> what are we gonna do here? I don't have my usual team. <laughs> and can, the, can, can Gaming do damage to the lava flower? I think he can. It's probably not much, because it's a, it is a lava flower. That's pyro already. 
<laughs> Water gun time. Go. Go. Oh, we gotta put him back. Put, put the flower back towards the bloom. Cores. Oh well. <laughs> that works too, I guess. <laughs> an answer from this world? Could this be an answer from this world? There's another world quest there. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. What did we just? We just stole it. We just stole a thing. But what are we? What are we putting it through? Okay. Is there an, another one? Oh, here. Okay. We go here. We stand like this. And this is not way too far away. Is there another one? Is there another one? Where might I find... Oh, I gotta go here. There you go. Yeah? No? There is another one somewhere. But where? <laughs> is it timed? Is that why? Um, do you want to do this? Light that. And then go over here. And summon it all the way over here. Why is it not working? Why is it not working? We must be missing another one somewhere and I don't know where it is. <laughs> um No, but this now this light turned off. Why? This one turned off, that one turned off. What is happening? Okay. Well they're all turned on at the same time. Oh, there is another one. I just couldn't see it because it was nighttime. Um, okay. Well, let's pull this towards us first. First I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this. Put this through. Oh, never mind. The other one was still lit. I was gonna go back and light that other one in case it turned off. Thankfully that was not the case. Is this an answer from this world? It is. Okay, let's go. Let's do this challenge. <laughs> Let's see. During iridescent cloud striding challenges, you must reach your destination while collecting as many jade lotus lanterns on the way to obtain a high score, a score as high as possible. Ominous lanterns will be present during the challenge. You will have points deducted if you pick them up. After coming into contact with the firework lanterns, they will explode and you're, uh, okay. So we don't want to touch the blue or the fire ones. Okay. There'll be cunning plants to be picked up. These can help you. Okay. Uh, let's just go. <laughs> Start. You rest for a while, waiting for the perfect moment. Okay. Yeah, all the fireworks. No wonder. No wonder everybody thinks we're super cool. This is, we look so glorious like this. <laughs> perfect. Okay, we gotta do this again. Perfect. Okay. I'm gonna pick up all of these. Um, perfect, okay, good. I guess because we didn't touch any of the bad ones. Well, here we are at the beautiful uh, jade ring. Okay. Um, okay, where should we go? This way. <laughs> No, 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 we can't miss one. No. Unless, unless, hear me out, hear me out. We, we, I can't believe it's letting me switch in the middle of this. We, we do our thing. Then, and suddenly, suddenly it all works out. Okay. <laughs> That's the best thing. This, this, like, literally, like, having Wander is a game changer. Suddenly, things that would be issues before, are just fine. Uh, okay, here we go. Look, we're on top of the ring. Yay! Perfect. Okay, great. 
all the rewards. What's the next one? Finagling frustrated. Okay. Well, we have this waypoint. So that is perfect. Uh, let's see, let's see. Here we go. Um, after picking up, okay, let's just, so don't, don't pick up, uh, don't pick up anything bad. Pick up everything else, because it could be good. <laughs> okay, ready. Super ready. Okay. Okay, don't, don't touch it while it's blue. You gotta touch it while it's yellow, because then it's good. Does the fire ones do that? Not getting the sense that they will. <laughs> uh, that is okay. I don't know what we're supposed to do there. Because they were right in the middle. Um, okay, what happens if we do do this? That did, okay, that didn't seem to go too poorly. Oh, look! We're approaching Yin Long Wharf! This is what I loved about that last version of the event. Was that... Y you really... Like, these kinds of time trials, you really get, like, a cool scenery. Like, a cool view of the scenery. And... This is even better because like you're flying around basically, you get to see everything. <laughs> Do you see, see that beautiful view of Yulong Wharf as we came over that way? Awesome. All right, next, Qizhong Wall. I have not opened this area yet. Maybe we can do that soon. <laughs> Actually, wait, we can, we literally can. You see, last time when I was streaming this area, I was stuck. I didn't know what to do. So then eventually I Googled it and Google didn't know what the heck I was talking about because Qi Zhang Wall puzzle was very, there's a lot of them. But eventually I found out the right combination of placing the other two thingies and have to open this. But I was like, since I spent so much time on it on stream, I'm gonna wait until I play this on stream slash recording again until I fix it. And now I am, so. There we go. We did it. <laughs> Frank Wood, uh, Hong Kong. Where do you want this there stuff delivered go. to, boss? That is probably, I think that is the last quest item we need in order to unlock that big puzzle in the middle. Cause we have this wood. We have this wood. I was like, what is it? We have these two pieces. And I believe, from what I know, that should be enough to open that area. Although, we can save that till next time, because I'm getting tired. And I do want to finish this event. Let's do that. You rest for a while, waiting for the perfect moment. I love the fireworks. <laughs> the fireworks just add so much to this. Here we go. Uh, whoops, okay. Time it right. Okay. We even got those wind things to help us. Awesome. <laughs> whoops, uh oh, that is okay. We are a fish. <laughs> Uh, okay, here. Is the fireworks good or bad? I'm starting to realize there's always fireworks. The fireworks actually seem to be more good than- No! No! No, I didn't mean to press that. I'm sorry. I'm wasting time. Where is the wind current? Okay. Thankfully, they put a wind current here because they knew somebody was going to do that. Swan Fury. <laughs> I did a good start. There we go. All the fireworks! Ah, oh, so beautiful. Are we high enough? Oh, yes we are. Okay, yes we are. <laughs> uh, go! 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 Not as much, but we did get all of the rewards. Which is good. Uh, where is this? We have this waypoint. This is where we were earlier. Let's see.
It's becoming daytime now. The fireworks might be uh, harder to see in the day. <laughs> but that is okay. We are very much enjoying them now. It's also really cool to just see them so close up. Because normally, because normally you wouldn't be this close to, you know, a actively exploding fireworks. Uh, no! Did I get them? I, I hope I got them while they're still yellow. Ah! You're making me go so fast! <laughs> okay. And we're going through the ring again! Right here. The Blazing Lantern's granted the double scores. Okay. I'll get even less points than last time. But thankfully, still enough. Oh! We got a whole bunch! Oh, because it's also from the time as well. I understand. I, I get it. <laughs> last one, last one. This is fun. I like this. <laughs> uh, where are we going to? <laughs> I love that I've finally given somebody the cardboard melazine sword. It's so funny. Um, and hopefully it will be really good too. Was that what we wanted to be doing? Maybe not at the time, but we might need that for later. Actually, you probably used your power earlier. So... Uh, oh, this is where... This is close to where the Swanee is, right? Nope, not at all. <laughs> I did not get that right. What are you attacking? Why are you attacking a balloon? No, no, seriously. What? What is? What is this? Okay, I might be starting some new quest or whatever, but I mean, I, I have to know what. What is this? This is this is out of this is very out of place. What? what why is there a random transport coming here, and it's not a commission? I'm getting distracted, but I mean. I'm really curious. I, I need to... I need to know. Where does this path lie? <laughs> the wind rises. At least we can follow this path to get back to the challenge afterwards. Always something in the way. <laughs> that 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 mighty troll cannot attack us through the gate. No, 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 don't you dare! No, how dare you! <laughs> Where are we going? It's all this, okay. All this fire. Let's not set that off. I don't think that's a good idea. Anyway, investigate. Potato. I'm so glad we got that potato. <laughs> what is? Ah, huh, looky here, lads. The good are right. Wait, who are you? I don't know, but you guys did not do a good job retaining your goods, considering they were in the hands of um, all of these hilly churls. <laughs> and you seemingly had no idea. Yeah, I've been trying to level up the artifacts I gave to Gum, and hopefully that's helping out. He's, he's able to he's able to hold his own in this fight, which is good. <laughs> oh, one more. <laughs> See? Gumming is doing his work right now, transporting goods. And he's showing off his strength doing that right now too. <laughs> Look at all of this treasure we got! So that was it was in the thing. Well, I'm I'm glad we found that Easter egg, I guess. <laughs> why why potatoes? Okay. I was like, is there a specific reason why potatoes? Also, I want I want this. I know we're getting further and further away from my goal. I can't help it. I I need it. We should go we should go visit Fujin for the lantern right too. We should see how she's doing. Probably the same as usual. <laughs> just chilling. Just resting a bit. Okay, I saw another spirit carp in here too, though. So we should probably pick that up. 
Except where does this lead? Where is this going? It looks just like an empty hole. Oh, never mind. I spoke too soon. It is a big cavern. There we go. Great. How do I get up now? <laughs> I love doing stuff like this. All right. Well, I guess we very patiently climb up. How are you all doing? It is... Oh, shoot. It's almost time for the daily reset. Uh-oh. I claim this. I was going to wait until I had Yoi, Mia, and Chevra's in the party. But now I realize I'm climbing. And uh, I should probably go to... Quickly. The, the fastest... It's literally 12.59 and it resets at 1 a.m. I got... <laughs> Come on. Uh, Add quickly. Thank you for completing. There you go. Primo gems not wasted Add because of my foolishness. What is what is this? Okay, well I guess I'll have to claim that again if I want the want the one for mining later. Well, we are all the way in Fontaine. How did that happen? <laughs> um Anyway, glad we did that in time. Now, let us go back to the actual challenge here. Um, which is finishing this time trial. Hustle and bustle. That's right. Okay, yeah, because there's one more part. Last time, there was a little bit of like... By little, I mean a long, but very fun epilogue where we take Xiao out to dinner with all of our friends. And it's very awkward, especially when he's sitting next to Venti and Zhongli and trying very hard to not uh, pretend he doesn't know them. <laughs> um, this time, I believe, we are going to be meeting some of our friends from Fontaine uh, in, in our little epilogue here of the Lantern Rite festivities. I'm super excited because I love seeing friends from different nations come together and meet each other and learn and most importantly, just, you know, building that sense of community. <laughs> uh, wait, did I want to, did I want to get that? <laughs> there we go. Perfect. We are a fish. <laughs> Let's keep going. We're at the border here with the rest of the. Uh... <laughs> Oops, I think I might have missed some there. Maybe. Hopefully, not too many. Oh, I don't know if we got as many points this time. Oh, we still got lots. Nothing to worry about. Nothing at all. <laughs> and with that, that should be all of the things from the gameplay, right? Yay! We got. Oh, uh, we get the beautiful lantern of probably Minogius and uh, the beautiful Swanee lantern as well and the crown. We have gotten everything we possibly could need. Now all that's left to do is just meet up with our friends. What is this? <gasps> Another furnishing! Great. Well, I guess in the next episode, the last one, we will be meeting with our other friends for Lantern Rite and I cannot wait for that. I am so happy we were able to help Gaming and his father reconcile and grow to understand each other a bit more. And yeah, that's that's great progress. Happy Lantern Rite, everybody. Happy Lunar New Year. Uh, we had a lot of fun here with the kite-themed Lantern Rite. And here's hoping for another year full of wonderful things. So until then, I will see you on the next episode. <laughs> what is this? Oh, right, because we logged in. Because <laughs> it's already the next day. All right. Bye-bye. Take care, everyone. <laughs>